Reachability. Let's talk about reachability. First, maybe I should say what we mean by reachability, at least in the context of software composition analysis. So, I mean, software composition analysis is all about the security of third-party dependencies you use in your software. Modules, packages, libraries, call them what you want. This means that when there is a security vulnerability in a dependency your code uses, you may have a security vulnerability in your application. Reachability is all about turning this may into a do or a don't. Simple. Well, not quite. Let's dig a little bit deeper. So here's your code, and it imports a dependency imaginatively named dependency A. Now, if it turns out that dependency A has a nasty security vulnerability, a very basic SCA tool is going to flag that your app is vulnerable. But is it? Well, I mean, the classic IT answer is it depends, because it does. So our dependency actually has three functions your code can use, equally imaginatively called A, B, and C. The vulnerability is only in function C. If you're not using function C, your applications are probably safe, or at least you don't need to make emergency changes. That's where reachability comes in. By analyzing your code, an SCA tool with reachability can tell you if you're calling the vulnerable function and just so just how much trouble you're in. In this case, your application isn't vulnerable and upgrading to a fixed version of package A, which you should probably still do, can be a scheduled activity. If you have regulatory requirements for vulnerability management, you can know that this is not impacting your compliance. And that's where most SCA's tools stop. But I'm here to tell you that's not actually good enough. Because it turns out that 94% of vulnerabilities are not in the direct dependencies of your code, but in the dependencies of their dependencies, what we call transitive dependencies. So if you're happy with your current solution missing most of the risk, then you can stop watching now. The rest of you, let's dig a little bit deeper. So as it turns out, dependency A imports dependencies X, Y, and Z, and each of the functions that dependency A has use different functions from those dependencies. Now the picture looks a bit more complicated, literally. So if dependency Y has a, has a vulnerability in function C, is your app at risk? Only by not just doing function level analysis for direct dependencies, but also for transitive dependencies, can you know the real risk? In this case, dependency C is used by dependency A function A, which is used by your application. That's a risk a lot of SCA tools will miss, exposing you to a risk that you didn't even know about. But not Endor. We do reachability right, giving you the confidence you're getting an accurate picture of the real risk in your application. Make sure you know what your vendor means when they say reachability, because not all SCA tools are the same.